Here we go, about to go green from the Talladega Super Speedway. Trent Barner going to be on the pole, and it's going to be the 23, 93 rather, of Zach Maloney. Green flag in the air. Saw a pretty crazy first race earlier today. Hopefully this one's going to be a lot calmer. Everybody involved in the vicious crashes we saw earlier were checked and released from the Infill Care Center, given clearance to run this event. Good thing is, none of these cars are the same cars from that first race, because I don't think we had anybody left in that first one. Varner with the lead off of turn four, coming down to the front straightaway, the tri -oval. Looks like he'll have the lead right here, and he will lead lap one. Kelsey Borden, the 19, then Joe Tanner and Steve Broom battling for the third spot. Got a car length back, and then you've got the three and four wide mess called the rest of the pack. Got a big pack right there, and I tell you what, if we see any more of those cars wrecking like they have been, it's not going to get, it's just going to get worse. Tanner to the lead with the 50 of Steve Broom pushing them there, and they will push ahead, and to the lead they go. As so go back to turn one, Tanner leads lap two. And that 50 car, Steve Broom, coming back down here on the inside. He's got to run. He'll get that position as well. Down the back straightaway into turn three. Three wide for the lead. Varner on the inside. The pole sitter will go back to the point for now. Can he keep it? As they come back through the trial, three wide again. Who will lead the lap? Varner gets it again, yeah. <laughs> he just about uh, lost the lead there coming through the trial, but he was able to surge ahead with the help from Philip Martin in that 49 car now in second. Back down the back straightaway. Three wide again, looking for the front of the pack. It's Urban Jacklin in the 74 car who started on the outside of the front row for race one. Oh man, they almost wrecked coming through the trial oval. Look out, 11. Okay, I want to know how they didn't wreck right there. Another car through the grass at 36. Peaked down there, but got back in line before they could wreck. That was... They all but wrecked coming through the trial by that time. Varner in the 23 holds the lead. But it's a snarling pack back behind them after the incident in the trial board that almost took out half the field, yeah. And I don't know how they managed to get through that without wrecking. Because they were all over the place. See the 18 of Josh Wilkinson returning to the track. He had a right front tire go down. They went ahead and made a pit stop and sent him back out uh, with four new tires. Varner still holding the lead, but here comes Hunter Richardson in the 30 and Joe Tanner, who led earlier, back to the inside for the second spot. Well, the 50 of Steve Broom looking pretty good right now in that 50 car, having a great run. Started up there in fifth. Here he is in the top five still. He's been there all race long. Back through the trioval. Okay, right now we got four laps to go. Still any man's race right now. Can they make it to the end without wrecking? I don't know. <laughs> if they pull another stunt like they did a few laps ago through the tri -oval, they ain't gonna have many cars finish this thing. Kara Artman in the 36 now looking to the inside. And that was one of the cars that was going through the grass down here on the front straightaway a few laps ago, and now here she is four wide for second. Kenny Turner in the 11, another one of those cars we talked about going through the grass. Here he is, surging ahead in second, and now Courtney Walker in the 31 is there as well. Turner now to the inside for the lead, going into turn three. Two to go, this time by is John Williams, with help from Dallas Whitaker coming out onto the inside. It's going to be interesting when they get back around here. Coming to the white flag next time by. It's going to be interesting to see who has the lead 
not only at the white flag, but who has it coming back to the checkered flag? Howard in the 34. Now looking to the inside of his teammate in the 37 there. Here they come, back through the trial oval. They'll come to the white flag this time by. Dallas Whitaker has the lead. But here comes TJ Howard. To the inside, he'll be second at the line. 36, Akira Hartman back to the inside, and Marissa DeShields in the 83 is there. The winner from the earlier race today is now in the chance for winning two in a row. Can it be done? Back to turn three they go. Three wide. Hartman holding the lead so far off of turn four. Back through the trial for the final time. Who will win the race? Howard to the outside. Three wide at the line. Howard wins it. Three one thousandths of a second was the margin of victory right there between TJ Howard and the 34 who goes to victory lane and the 36 of Kara Hartman. Marissa DeShields winds up third after winning the race earlier today. And somehow, they did not wreck. <laughs> somehow. I don't know how they didn't do that, but yeah. No wrecks. They almost did there in the trial three times, but they managed to keep it clean, and TJ Howard goes to victory lane. Seventy four car who started on the outside of the front row for race one. Oh man, they almost wrecked coming through the tri oval. Look out. Oh, got back in line before they could wreck. That was they all but wrecked coming through the tri oval that time. Barner in the twenty three holds the lead. But it's a snarling pack back 